Jerusalem, talking Jerusalem. I have hope in Jerusalem when I die, when I die. God knows I'm gonna be in Jerusalem, singing Jerusalem, talking Jerusalem, in Jerusalem. I have hope in Jerusalem. Amen. Uh, why are there so many people here today? <laughs> okay. Just as you have come to meet the Lord, the Lord whom ye seek shall suddenly come to his temple. <laughs> like the person who is ready to disgrace the strong man today, close your eyes and pick up a song of praises. And sing it loud and clear to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. Sing to the glory of the name of the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. Name of him who was, who is and is to come. The Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. The one who can do all things. Masekadara Boshendera Bokonteyaba. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Sing this song louder than anyone here. As many people as want the God of signs and wonders to touch them, they should sing this song louder than anyone around them. As you sing, I want you to believe the Lord for a great breakthrough. A great breakthrough. Don't let anybody's voice overshadow your own as you sing this song. Faithful, 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 faithful. Faithful, faithful, faithful. Faithful, faithful is the Lord. Faithful is the Lord. Faithful. Faithful, 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 Mighty is the Lord. Mighty is the Lord. Mighty, 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 mighty is the Lord. Now with a voice of aggression and fire. Sing this one too louder than anyone here. The God that answered by fire, He will answer me by fire. He will answer me today, today. Hallelujah, the God that answered by fire. You will answer me by fire. You will answer me by fire. To sing it again loud and clear. That God surround by fire. You will answer me by fire. You will answer me today, today. To Hallelujah, the God that is by fire. You will answer me by fire. You will answer me by fire today. Do something new in my life. Something new in my life. Do something new. Today, today, 
There's one prayer I want you to pray before you sit down. And pray that prayer from your heart. Say, I reject every satanic embarrassment by the power in the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare it loud and clear. Reject the embarrassment by the power in the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Let there be silence now. Perfect silence. Don't say anything until I ask you to speak. There are some people here today Immediately we begin to pray right now. What will happen is this. The long, long standing problems they've been going through will melt away like the morning dew. Yes. Now it's even a particular woman here. The doctors have declared that there is no hope for you at all. But immediately we begin to pray you will begin to feel very, very uncomfortable. What is happening is this. A creative miracle is going on in your body. After that discomfort, you will have organs in your body as new. That will happen immediately. We begin to pray now. There are some business people here today. Immediately you drink from this water we are going to pray on very soon. Anywhere you go and you open your mouth, Favor shall begin to follow you. Many things are going to happen here now. There are some here. Please listen to me very carefully. Right now, it's as if nobody knows your husband at all in this country. But within the next few weeks, something is going to happen that will move your husband to the front. There are people here. All kinds of good doors have been shut down against you. Everything you try your hands on is as if all doors are closed. But immediately you begin to pray now. You will hear the sounds of padlock flying open. And the padlocks that have closed your gate for years shall snap open. Not only this, there are people here today with incurable diseases, which the people of the world claim is incurable. Immediately we pray on this water and you drink. Go back and do another test. And you find that the arrow of infirmity has gone back to the senders. Something is happening to somebody over there. Something is turning right now in your stomach. It's a serpent planted by polygamous witchcraft into your body. It is trying to find its way out. That's right. The hand of God is coming upon you. Coming out. It's more than one. And listen, beloved. Those who have been ordained unto death, the arrow of death shall go back to the senders. That's right. You will share this now loud and clear. Make sure that nobody's voice is louder than yours. Something is happening over there too. Is that they are changing somebody's head completely. This is the time to cry out to the Lord now. Say, strong man! Assign to disgrace me. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to declare it. Pandariba sepokola kaya bo shandaraba. Derika sepente kanta. 
Mana riba sapande ke ya boshente la boko la baraba. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Yes. Listen to me carefully. Amen. Listen very carefully now. As somebody in this meeting, you came here with an evil growth in your body. Check the place now. You find that the growth had just vanished. Yes. Not only this. Someone came here to you. It's like they drop a heavy luggage on your right leg. You painfully drag it along. Kick that leg out as if you are kicking football now. And you find that that arrow fired at it had gone back to the senders. That's right. Yes. The, the evil hand laid on your chest. I see something is about to squeeze your heart out. Look at what is happening now. That evil hand will be shaken out. Thank you, Jesus. Aha. Something has been hitting the head of somebody. As if somebody is applying heat on your head. Your head is especially hot. As if something, nobody is applying heat there. It's an agenda to make you mad. But look at what is happening now. The cold water from heaven has been poured out on that head. Check that head now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Aha. If you are the person that growth disappeared from the body and your right leg has not been healed and the heat has vanished from your head or there is an infirmity in your body now that has just disappeared, quietly just find a way to the altar here because I don't want the devil to put it back on you. I didn't call out for prayers. No, no, no. Just those ones alone. When I'm ready to call those ones, I will call them. Once you have checked your body and you are sure that's the people I want to come forward now. I don't want the enemy to put the problem back on you. Thank you, Jesus. As a woman there, the enemy has blocked your way from getting across to your husband. They block your passport, block your visas. But something is happening to you right there where you are. The ragged passport in your hand has been withdrawn. And they're giving you a new one. That's right. And the way is now open. In a mysterious way, the way is now open. Thank you, Jesus. With fire in your voice, don't joke with this kind of prayer. Every grave prepared for my destiny, catch your digger. Sisters, can I hear you shouting this loud and clear? Is that the Lord that your sisters can call it? Brothers, shout it loud and clear. Everybody together now. In the name of Jesus. Deal with that grave. Oh yes. Masetaya boko shendera bakanta rabo sanda. Command them to cast their digger. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you for this, your children, and for those that you have touched already. I decree that your testimony shall be permanent. And affliction will never arise again in your life. The power of God will move in your life in a new way. I shall be a candidate of mightier testimonies. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. You may go back to your seat rejoicing now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
Kick another song of praises in your mouth and sing it loud and clear to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. Amen. Father, we thank you for this particular prayer range. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Everyone who has presented here today, let them be candidates of uncommon testimonies. The Lord your God, whom you seek, shall show you his power. He shall roar like the lion of Judah and disgrace every lion of darkness. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Let's have a seat. God bless you. We're going to look at the words of God now. As a continuation of the message we started last week. Thereafter, we are going to our strong man disgracing prayers. And thereafter, we shall pray and carry out prophetic action on the water and the sand you brought from your environment. If you brought those things here, shout hallelujah. My strong man must be disgraced. That was what we were discussing last week. Can you say it loud and clear? We go back to the book of Matthew chapter 12. Go back to the book of Matthew chapter 12, which we started to look at last week. My strong man must be disgraced. Shout it again loud and clear. In the name of Jesus. Matthew chapter 12, verse 29. The passage we read last week. Or else, how can one enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he first bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his house? Last week, I began to share about you about a particular entity called the strong man, identified by a person no less than Jesus Christ. And Jesus, if there is anyone qualified to call anybody strong, it must be Jesus. So if Jesus says somebody is strong, you must admit that the person is really strong. When a strong man is in charge of somebody's case, it can be a terrible situation indeed. This is the reason why sometimes certain things look difficult. If a strong man is assigned against that particular situation, I pray that any strong man assigned against your destiny shall be buried alive today in the name of Jesus. It's a terrible thing when a strong man has been assigned to a person from the cradle to the grave. From the womb, the person started the battle. You were born as a child, battle. Got married into battle. Business, battle. Career, battle. Health, battle. Once a strong man is assigned, and that strong man is not taken out of the way, the person will be treated as a rag. Don't get me wrong. You may get to heaven, no problem. No, poverty does not say you shouldn't get to heaven. Sickness does not say you should not get to heaven. But it is one thing to get to heaven Abraham style or to get to heaven Lazarus style. Lazarus was a poor man, was a beggar. He begged and begged and died in poverty. He made heaven. No problem, but he suffered here. Abraham was a wealthy person. He is in the same heaven. So the choice is now yours. Whether you want the enemy to treat you as a rat before you enter heaven or not. So it's a decision. And I believe that by your coming for this program, you have made up your mind that your strong man, no matter where they are coming from, must be disgraced. They must be disgraced. They must be disgraced. They must be disgraced. Must be disgraced. That passage tells us that who can enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods? Except he first bind the strong man and then he will spoil his house. 
We read several other passages last week. All describing this entity to us. Many years ago, a man was having a great problem. And he ran to one of our fathers in the Lord for prayers. And by the time the man of God prayed, man of God said, this kind of problem, we need seven days dry fast. So, but you will fast, I will fast, both of us will do the fasting. So they locked themselves up. And the man of God too was in the fasting program. This man too was in the fasting program. This man had married five wives. All the five wives had died during childbirth. The prayer started. Seven days. On the seventh day, the man of God prayed and he was about to break his fast. He said, Father, we thank you. This that, 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 for delivering your son. As we are breaking our fast now, we pray that affliction will not rise again. All of a sudden, the Lord opened his eyes. It was as if he could see like x-ray in, inside the man he was praying with for seven days. And what did he see? He saw a big king sitting on a throne inside the man. And the Lord said, son, do you want to break your fast or you want to continue? See, because the seven days dry, you and him, you have done. You've all, you just succeeded in chasing away all the house boys and the small, small ones. The strong man is still inside. Do you want to break or do you want to continue? So that's what to mean by the strong man. It's not the kind of you say, come out! And they say, well, I'm coming out and out they go. No. No, this one is the one that you say, come out. You say, why should I come out? Leave them alone. You say, why should I leave them alone? Get out. You say, no. Why should I get out? When it is a mother that handed over to me. Why should I get out? When I'm a husband from the sea. Those are the strong men. Is that that man, all his retirement benefits, he put it on building a poultry. And he had a lot of chicken that he wanted to sell. He was already rejoicing. But he found that the chicken were dying in hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. And he called in the prayer warriors. By the time prayer started, what happened was this. On the place where he built the poultry, what used to be there many, many years ago was a shrine. And the people of the village had made a covenant to be given that the idol power there, one chicken per year. But now, they were not bringing anything again. Somebody now made a mistake to put a poultry on top of the idol requesting for chicken. So the idol, being a thief himself, was now taking more than one one that he wanted per year. That kind of power is what is known as the strong man. There are people here this morning. If they pray the seven prayers we're going to pray now, what will happen to them? will be completely unbelievable. Because they find that what they think is so difficult will just become very simple. We were in Abuja many years ago. Many, many years ago. Many years ago, when Mountain of Fire started there, we had a meeting like this. And there was a word of knowledge. That there is a sister here. The power behind your problem, the strong man, is a serpent. By the time you get home, there was a sister there. She just said a dry amen. She didn't believe it was her. When she was 39 years old, a virgin, nobody has ever spoken to her about marriage. So she said a dry amen and went home. This is at the center of Abuja. No forest, no bush. She lived on the fourth floor in a building. That night she got home from the prayer meeting. As she entered into her bedroom, she found that something was sleeping on the bed and there was cover cloth on top of the thing. She was surprised. I, I, was, I don't know. What's this? Anyway, she wanted to run back. But something said, I, you are coming from prayer meeting of mountain of fire, you are afraid. So come and go there. So she tiptoed to the bed, held the clothes, the bed clothes, whipped it off. And beloved, on that bed with the head on her pillow was a giant python but the python was dead
Amen. She screamed and called the neighbors. They came. Some were afraid. Some said, ah, I'm moving out of this house. The serpent was so big. It is not a question of take away the snake. It was a question of drag away the snake. For the first time in 39 years, this sister now realized that she was indeed married. But to a python. A spirit python. We now question her for that. We discover that from the area she came from in Nigeria, they worship serpents there. Within two months, she was married. Because a strong man had died. I pray that every strong man has signed against her destiny. Shall be disgraced today. They shall be disgraced today. They shall be disgraced today. They shall be disgraced. In the name of Jesus. The strong man has awesome level of power. The strong man, according to the Bible, has specific locations. According to scripture, the strong man has a house. According to the Bible, the strong man has goods in his possession. The strong man is a banker, a keeper. He wants to ensure that nothing is lost. The strong man has weapons to attack and to defend what he has stolen from people. This is why sometimes somebody goes to pray for somebody who has a problem and the problem comes upon the person going to pray. It's because the strong man has weapons and he's fighting back. The strong man has armor to defend himself. This is what the Bible is telling us about this particular entity. The strong man has a very wicked agenda. It's to steal, to kill, and to destroy. The Bible makes us understand that ignorant persons cannot confront the strong man. Unless you bind him, you really cannot get at him. The Bible makes us understand that the strong man can operate in the heavenlies. He has the capacity to confront the angels, bringing blessings to people. The Bible makes us understand that the strong man is a military personality. He is ready for defensive and offensive warfare. That strong man is a thorough destroyer. Mercy is completely alien to them. He's ready to pounce on anybody who wants to intrude to take away what he has stolen. The strong man has a palace. He reigns. He is a king of some sort. It is therefore a terrible thing when a particular section of somebody's life is assigned to a strong man. A person's career could be assigned to a strong man. A person's business can be assigned to a strong man. Every nation, every town, every village, every family has characteristic strong men attached to them. This is why you find things, the same thing, circulating in several families. A strong man could be attached to somebody's career. That's why you find a professor in the university who cannot afford to buy a shirt. And you find another professor with three, four cars. A strong man could be attached to somebody's business life. Every other thing will work away, but that business, the enemy will frustrate it. A strong man could be assigned to somebody's calling as a minister. A strong man could be attached to somebody's marriage, to somebody's work, to somebody's house, to somebody's academics. That will say, sorry, you can't go far. It could be attached to somebody's finances. Until that strong man is identified and dealt with, problems just continue. So you can just have a temporary relief. This is the problem sometimes when people come to the house of God. But the beauty of the matter is that it is possible to enter into the house of the strong man. It's possible to raid the house of the strong man. It's possible to disgrace the strong man. It's possible to repossess your possession from the strong man. It is possible for you to take what the strong man has stolen. It is possible for the strong man to be in charge of every member of the family, but you want to say, no, you may control others, but my case is different. Say, no, you can't do this to me. My case is completely different. And then you'll be able to pursue your pursuers. How do you disgrace your strong man? The first is for you to surrender your life to Jesus. That is not negotiable at all. Second thing is to allow your understanding to be opened. Your understanding must be opened. Let me be honest with you. 
some people will never receive any breakthrough unless they go to at least one powerful prayer meeting per week. Because there is power in the united prayer we pray. If you go to accumulate the heat of prayer, you do it weekly, and you enter into a particular location, and the location has a strong man, they sort of have a way of pushing you aside. A lot of people come to the house of God, they collect blessings, but they take those blessings to the place they live where there is habitation of strong man and they lose it. That's how we say, bring the sand. And there are plenty of people, they are going to dead churches where they have killed them halfway already. And then the same people will come and conduct their burials later. You need to allow your understanding to be open now. Surrender your life to Jesus. Let your understanding be open. Number three, you have to repent from every known sin. If you are into any habitual sin, you know that it's sinful and you are doing it, the strong man will just become stronger. For example, let me be honest with you here. If you are in this meeting now, you are still drinking alcohol, forget strong man will not go away. We just stay. You are smoking, he won't go away. You are still going about with strange men, strange women, boyfriend, girlfriend, all those things. This strong man will never leave you alone. No, just stay. Why is that you strong man? The girl, leave me alone. Depart from my life. The strong man will say, okay. Before I go, I demand a phone call. And he will call their headquarters. He will say, we'll call them at headquarters. Headquarters, headquarters of darkness. We're calling you, over. I say, yes, come with your message. Say, there is somebody here who wants us to leave. Can we leave? Say, so, hold on, hold on, let us check his file. Let us check his file. And they check. Say, no, strong man, remain in place, remain in place. This one is a fornicator. This one is an adulterer. This one is a thief. They remain. So, any sin will let the strong man remain in your life. The last thing is to wage war against the strong man, which is what these seven prayers will help us to do today. And I want you to pray from the heart. When the time comes for these seven prayers, and then when it's time to pray on the water and the sun, I will let you know. Let's close our eyes now and rise up on our feet. You see, if you are here this morning and you are not born again, you have not surrendered your life to Jesus, you cannot disgrace any strong man. Just quickly find a way to the altar here so that you can take a first step towards disgracing the strong man here today. So, Pastor, I want to surrender my life to Jesus. I want to disgrace every strong man. Just leave your seat and come here very quickly. We have very little time. We want to go and pray. We want to surrender your life to Jesus today. Just find a way to the altar very, very quickly. Jesus is waiting for you here. Do it very quickly. I'm not asking whether you go to church or you don't go to church. The important thing is whether you have a living encounter with Jesus. Find a way to this altar very quickly.
Mr. Sophia at the front, I congratulate you. Just close your eyes, bow down your heads, and say what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, come before you now, Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for this, your children. You've taken the most important decision in life. Father, lay your hands upon them. Write their names in the book of life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Open your eyes and look at us at the front here. You've taken the most important decision in life. And I congratulate you. Just one or two minutes, just follow that pastor over there. Let's follow this past over there for one or two minutes. God bless you as you do so. God bless you as you do so. God bless you as you do so. The rest of us, as we stand on our feet, confess your sins to the Lord. Any sin that will keep the strong man in place, ask the Lord to forgive you now. Because very soon, there will be a raw display of divine power here. A raw display of divine power here. And the miracle power of God will begin to pop out like popcorn. Any sin in my life that will still keep the strong man in place, I ask for forgiveness. Be open to the Lord so that you too can live here with outstanding testimonies. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. Uh, I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood. Amen. Seven prayers to disgrace every strong man. No matter how long they have been in the family. No matter how strong they are. No matter how terrible their boastings. If you will pray these seven prayers with merciless violence be amazed at what will happen in your life. Somebody came to this meeting crying but by the time you get home from this prayer in, your tears will have become joy. That's right. Someone is here your parents wanted a male child but you came as a female and this has resulted into trouble for your life. Very soon you feel a hand be laid upon you and your life shall change completely. A woman is here, you are very concerned about the bedwetting activities of your children. Something will happen to them where they are, and that yoke shall be broken completely. Seven strong man disgracing prayers. If you pray this prayer and your voice goes away, but the strong man is buried, you have made a very good bargain. So every strong man prolonging my problems. Is that the loudest you can shout it at this meeting today? I'm sure you can try a lot harder than that. I'm sure you can still try harder than that. In the name of Jesus. (laughs) 
Yes. Open your mouth and declare it loud and clear. Aha, aha. That's the power of God. Master Pondekaya Boshantara Bokoyaba. Do you want prolonging my problems? Their time is up today. Don't negotiate. Today is not a day to negotiate. Masakaya Boshendera Bokola Baraba. The ribos upon the Kaya Boshenta. The power of God. Move. 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 Yes. Aha, aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Aha. Yes. There are 20 persons here. An evil mark is being removed from their forehead. That's the first person. That's number two. That's number three. No, number four. That's number five. Yes. The evil mark is being taken out. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. Number ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, number 19, and number 20. That's right, the evil mark has been taken off. Aha, 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 aha. Silence, beloved. That's right. Silence. A transaction wants to take place. There are people here. Your own blood are the sources of your strong men right there where you are the evil load they place upon your head since you were born has been taken out that's the power of god coming upon you that's the power of god coming upon you that's right that's the first person that's number two that's number three number four number five number six yes they're, they're taking it away. They're taking it away. Number seven. Number eight. Aha. Yes. They're still taking it away. They're taking it away. That's right. The one in the brain. The one in the heart. The one on your business. The one on your two legs. Shout this again loud and clear. This is number two now. Please. This is not the time to joke. Strong man of my father's heart. Strong man of my mother's heart. You are a liar. Dead. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Something is happening here this morning. The power of God is moving on us some manner. Katesa ponde ke yabo shende rabo konte yaba. Aha, aha, aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Silence. Yes. Strange things coming out of somebody's body. That's right. Yes. You do satanic insects. Die now. Satanic insects. It is biting this person. Die now. That's right. Yes. Yes. Every part that has buried your virtues. Look at what is happening now. Your virtues are being recovered from their hands. The power of God. Boom. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. This is number three. Pray this the way I want you to praise. Power of reproach. In the name of Jesus. Kill that power now. Oh, yes. 
Kill the power of reproach. Aha. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. I have a word for somebody here. You have been passing through so many problems. I have a word to you from the Lord. Lord, I shall ask you to prepare for your testimonies now. Thank you, Jesus. So every power challenging God in my life. Can you shout it with only anger? In the name of Jesus. Yes. Open your mouth and declare it. If it's challenging my God, their time is up now. Makapolabo Shenderabo Konterabo Santeyaba. In Jesus' name we pray. Uh huh. This is wonderful. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Every power mocking God in my life. Can you say this with only anger? I want you to shout it louder than that. I want you to shout it even louder than that. I want you to shout it even louder than that. Your time is up. In the name of Jesus. If it's mocking my God. Their time is up. Yes. Makaposetende keyabo shenteraba. Repoli katanda. Manakasentende keyabo shenteraba. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray. This is wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you, Jesus. Stretch your hand to the altar here. And keep your hand stretched to the altar. Father, let the anointing of the overcomer and the anointing that breaketh every yoke come upon these hands now. As these hands are applied, let the electric power of the Holy Ghost flow into every life here. To shake down every citadel of darkness. And to remove every internal strong man. In the name of Jesus. Lay that hand on your head now. Keep it there. Yes. Every destiny here that has been exchanged. You are laying your hands on your symbol of destiny. Let this destiny be repaired now. Every brain here that is under attack, let the attack go back to the senders. Go back to the senders. Go back to the senders. In the name of Jesus. Silence now. Something is happening. Amen. That same hand, if you have any sickness on any part of your body, lay your hands on it. Everybody will now shout this prayer loud and clear. This is one of the most important prayers I'm going to pray here. Internal strong man! Come out! In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to declare it. That's right. In Jesus' name we pray. 
If we believe the Lord has answered those prayers, shout seven Jericho destroying. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Bring out the sun now from your environment and take your Bible. Open to Psalm number 8. Everybody should be standing now while you hold that sun in your hand or lay your hands on it. Remain standing as we read the word of God. I'm going to confess it loud and clear. Psalm number 8. Are we ready? We're going to read it loud and clear as we lay our hands on this sand. Everybody found Psalm 8? If you find it, say praise God. Okay, let's go. Oh Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth, who has said thy glory about the heavens. Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings, as thou ordained strength because of thy enemies, that thou might I steal the enemy and the avenger. When I consider the heavens, the works of thy fingers, the moon and the stars, which thou hast ordained, what is man that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man that thou visitest him? For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, and hast crowned him with glory and honor. Thou madest him to have dominion over the works of thy hands. Thou hast put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, yea, and the beasts of the field, the fowls of the air, and the fish of the sea, and whatsoever passeth through the paths of the sea. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. A loud amen. amen. The same Psalm number 24. Psalm 24. Psalm 24. We have to confess that loud and clear too. Are we ready now? Let's go. The earth is the Lord's, and the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. For I have founded it upon the sea and established it upon the floors. Who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who hath not lifted up his soul in vanity, nor sought deceitfully. He shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness of the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob. Lift up your heads, O ye gaze, and be ye lift up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gaze, if you lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts is the king of glory. Read verse 9 again. Lift up your head. O ye gaze. Even lift them up. Ye everlasting doors. And the king of glory shall come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord of hosts is the king of glory. A louder amen. Finally Psalm 46. Finally Psalm 46. Lay your hands on that, this sand. Or hold it as you confess this. Are we ready? Let's go. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we not we fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof. There is a river, the stream whereof shall make glad the city of God. The only place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her. And that right early. The idiots rage. And the kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice. The earth melted. The Lord of hosts with his doors. The God. Say that again. Shout it again. Verse 8 now, come, behold the works of the Lord. What desolation had made in the head. He maketh words to cease unto the ends of the earth. He breaketh the bow and cut the spear in sunder. He burned the chariots in the fire. Be still and know that I am God. 
I'll be exalted among the heathen. I'll be exalted in there. Loud and clear, the Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob. Say it loud and clear again. And louder than that one. We're going to pray now. Father, we commit this sound unto your holy hands. In those days, Moses sprinkled the dust into the air. And it brought boils on the body of his enemies, the magicians. As this sun goes back to our environment, let every environmental strong man be disgraced. As this sand is sprinkled on our environment, any wish that flies around that environment, let that wish fall down and die in the name of Jesus. As this sun goes back to the environment, if that environment has been swallowing anybody's blessings, let them vomit the blessings. 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 In the name of Jesus. As this sand is sprinkled back into the environment, any strong man that is claiming that that territory belongs to him, must say, center. La ribo so Let that strong man be disgraced in the name of Jesus. Let this sound become boils on the bodies of magicians. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We speak to this sun now. Become cones of fire. Become dust of boils against the enemy. Make every owner of evil Lord carry their loads. In Jesus' name we pray. Listen carefully. When you get to your habitation, just sprinkle it back on the floor. Throw it back on the floor. And you will see what will begin to happen. If you sprinkle it on the floor and somebody begins to pick a quarrel with you in the house, don't be angry with anybody. Don't quarrel with anybody. Just say, God bless you and walk away. Now take the water. In the beginning, the Spirit of God moved upon the waters. After prayer has been said on this water now, it will become the water of fire. When it enters into your mouth, the sicknesses in the body dies automatically. When it enters into your mouth, your mouth will begin to bring you favor. All the internal strong man will be chased out. And the power of God will locate you. Now let your amen be loud and clear as I pray on this water. Father, in the name of Jesus. Just like your spirit moved upon the waters in those days. Let your spirit move upon this water now in the name of Jesus. Let this water become the water of healing. The water of deliverance. The water of power. The water of strength. The water of glory. The water of fire. When the dead comes into contact with this water, let the dead live. When the unlucky comes across this water, let the bad luck die. When this water comes across infirmity, let the infirmity die. When this water is sprinkled on an environment, let the environment bring prosperity. The angel that used to trouble the water of Bethesda in those days, let the same angel begin to trouble this water now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Open your bottle now and take a generous drink and take the rest home. Sprinkle it also in your habitation. And if you like, you may be topping it. Thank you, Jesus. This is the water to disgrace the strong man. 
Once you've taken a drink, close it. Something is happening already. That's right. It's addressing something inside somebody over there. That's right. That's right. Aha. That which you have eaten or swallowed physically or spiritually that has been addressing your destiny. Look at what is happening now. Now it's coming out. It's coming out. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you for this day. It is written that your people will shout to the hills raise up their head. That comes their help. The help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Do not suffer their feet to be moved. For that keep it, they will not slumber. That keep it, Israel shall never slumber and sleep. The Lord shall keep your going and your coming out. The Lord shall keep you in all your ways. No evil shall be for you. And that shall any plague move near your camp. As you go, it shall be well with you. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Let us share the grace in fellowship now.